I hope everybody's doing good. Today, we're going to be using Runway ML's first and last frame feature in order to create this. And this. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first, we need to find those images, right? We need to import them into Runway ML. And then we need to click on the last frame button and select the last frame we want to use. And then we need to write the prompt. And the prompt I used for this was, the camera moves upward from underwater to reveal a man rapidly emerging from a lake while water splashes all around him. Now, you could either choose to use a prompt or leave the prompt area empty. Runway is smart enough to animate the image the way it sees fit. But normally, I use a prompt to guide the AI. Let's check out the results. Oh my God, this is amazing. I can't believe that Runaway got it in the first try. There's certain animations that we just cannot get with a prompt. So having a feature like this where you can guide it with a first frame and with the last frame and then prompt it is just an amazing feature. So once I got that, first video and I was like, let's go find two other images that we can animate. So I grabbed this image and I grabbed this image and I prompted the camera rapidly zooms into a lake to reveal a man meditating at the bottom, muted colors. And I ran that for five seconds. Now I ran this a couple of times, but it didn't get it perfectly. So we have a whole bunch of duds. We have this, and then we have this one, and then we have this one, right? Sometimes Runway gets it in the first shot, but then sometimes you have to massage that prompt in order for Runway to understand what you want. All right, so cool. Let's check out the results and see what it did. And once again, Runway was able to take the first frame and the last frame, interpolate in between both of them and give us an amazing animation. Like, look at this. This is amazing. So in After Effects, I added an adjustment layer. Then I added a curves effect to it. I lowered the highlights a little bit. I raised the blacks a little bit. Then I added a green effect to it, went down to the presets and added the Kodak Vision 200T because this preset closely emulates the grain on 1970s footage. And then I added a Gaussian blur with a blurriness of five. And then I added an unsharpened mask effect with a mount set to 400 and the radius set to 300 to tie the whole effect together. I thought by adding all these effects at the very end, it will look nice and cohesive and it'll add texture to the piece. Now we're gonna right click on this layer, add a time remap effect to it. And then we're gonna find the spot where he's almost out of the water and we're gonna set a keyframe there. And then we're going to find where he's out of the water and we're going to add another keyframe there. And then we're going to go to the end of the timeline, grab those two keyframes and spread them out a bit so that when we do this speed ramp, we get this nice slow mo at the very end. And then we're going to grab those two keyframes and bring them closer to the second keyframe. Being that those two keyframes are so close together, that's where we're going to get that speed rep happening. And then after that, we're going to go into the graph editor. What we're doing is massaging the Bezier curves in order to get a smooth transition in between the second and the third keyframe. The fact that we spread out the third and the fourth keyframe at the very end, he rises slowly, then he speeds up, and then he slow mows at the very end. And now this is how it looks with the effects applied. And this is how it looks with both shots put together. And that's how you use Runway's first and last frame feature to animate some mid-journey images and get some awesome results.
So cool, man. I hope you guys like this one. This one was a quick one. Hit me up in the comments. Peace.